Hisense has earned the reputation of a brand whose TVs offer a great balance between price and quality, especially in the upper middle price bracket with the models that offer HDR support but not enough brightness for a true HDR. We have seen some of their premium TVs as well, but their prices are out of reach for most users. What we feel was missing was a model in a category traditionally dominated by Samsung's QLED TVs, a model with a true HDR and brightness of at least 1000 nits. Sure, H8F series fits the description, but that one was reserved for US market, so the rest of the world did not have a valid alternative. If you wanted a TV that offers a real HDR experience and don't live within the US, your most affordable option was probably Samsung's Q70 series, whose 55-inch model costs about 1100 euros depending on the market, while 65-inch one is closer to 1700 euros. In comparison, if you're not getting a proper HDR, 55-inch Hisense U7B at just over 600 euros offers pretty much all you need apart from those 1000 nits and a fast refresh rate, which is a significant price difference to pay for enjoying true HDR. We waited a long time for someone to fill that market void, which is why we were pleasantly surprised when we visited Hisense stand at this year's IFA Fair in Berlin and saw the specs of the new U8B series. This model is now officially on the market and retails at about 1000 euros for 65 inches and about 700 euros for 55 inches, which depending on where you live, probably makes it the most affordable HDR1000 certified TV you can buy. So what exactly do you get with H65 U8B that we got to test? Well, design-wise, it more than resembles the U7B series. They're practically identical, which is not a bad thing since they look modern and elegant. Both models are well made, firm and precise, with the screen surrounded by a metal frame with a brushed metal look on top and bottom, and similarly looking stands. TV's profile is very thin, except for the bottom part that houses the electronics, speakers and the usual selection of connectors. There you'll find 4 HDMI ports, 3 on the side and 1 on the back, 2 USBs, antenna, satellite and composite video inputs, LAN port and an optical audio output. The screen is surely the most interesting aspect of this TV. It's a VA panel, usual choice for high sense in middle and upper class, but this time with a refresh rate of 120Hz, which opens up some new possibilities compared to U7B series. It's not a true 10-bit panel, but 8-bit which uses FRC to extend its color gamut, though surprisingly we measured the coverage of 90% of DCI-P3 spectrum, which is better than many actual 10-bit models and certainly very impressive. Speaking of colors, factory calibration is traditionally one of Hisense's strong points, but this time they have outdone themselves. We have measured an excellent average delta E deviation of 1.9, with maximum being only 3.7. As for the backlight, it's edge LED type, but local dimming is still implemented in 16 vertical zones. Although this is not an ideal solution, and we would have preferred a more advanced direct LED, if we keep in mind all that this model offers at this price, it's clear that it would be unrealistic to expect that as well. Maybe we'll see that combo on another more expensive model. Either way, this 16 zone local dimming still has an impact on image quality, so we measured a very high contrast of 21,500 to 1 in dynamic mode, which is even higher while watching HDR content. Panel static contrast is rated at 4000 to 1, though the minimum we measured in any mode was 7700 to 1. Such a high contrast certainly makes for a high perceived image quality, and along with white color gamut and high color precision, especially when viewing HDR content, we would say that U8B is at least a class above U7B when it comes to image quality. And that's a big thing since U7B was already one of the best in its price range. Now, some argue that U8B's 1000 nits are not real and the screen cannot shine at max brightness all the time, but instead only a portion of the screen can reach 1000 nits and for a limited period of time, which was done to pass the HDR1000 certification. Others may argue that you are not going to use the TV to get a suntan and that max brightness is only needed sometimes and in certain parts of the scene. Both arguments are actually right, so in most cases this TV is going to provide a high quality HDR display that very much resembles what you may see on QLED models, but in certain scenes it will be apparent that it is not the same thing. Another improvement over the U7B series is a faster 120Hz refresh rate, which gives picture processing algorithms more options to do a better job, but also improves the display of 24 frames per second movie format, since 120 is a multiple of 24, so there is no need for the ineffective pull-down conversion. Motion processing menu offers similar deblur and edge other options, but their range is much larger in this case, so you can really fine-tune it to your liking. This is most noticeable when watching movies and especially when watching sports like football or tennis. 
If you go overboard with the settings, it's possible that you may notice some artifacts on the fringes of fast-moving objects, football players for instance, but overall we do think that this works very well considering the price bracket and that it's a step above what U7B and similarly priced models offer. As expected, the sound is similar to U7B considering that the design is identical. Although the bass does not go too low, overall sound impression is pretty solid with enough bass, pleasant frequency balance and enough loudness with 2 times 15 watts of power. Sound adjustments can be made via predefined profiles and a 5-band EQ, and as for more advanced processing, Dolby Atmos that we liked on U7B is again very well implemented and gives a nice sense of space. When it comes to smart capabilities, Hisense mostly sticks to its Vida U 3.0 OS, which is decent, although not on a level of Android, Tizen or WebOS. Interface is well designed, clean and fairly fast, although it is missing some elements like content suggestions, which in our opinion is an important thing for smart TVs. As for apps, important video services like YouTube, Netflix or Amazon Prime are included and they vary depending on the country you select, so you may or may not have all the things you like. Besides video and music services, you'll find some simple games and not overly useful applications, although there's a nice selection of apps for kids which may come in handy if you're a parent. This TV is run by the same M-Star 6886 quad-core processor that we saw on U7B, though we were under the impression that it runs a bit smoother, not sure if it's due to higher clock speed or some system optimizations that happened in the meantime. We also like the remote, which is small and fits nicely in the hand. Its keys have a very precise feedback that will make it easier for you to navigate the menus or type in web addresses or YouTube search keywords. It also supports voice control, but it's only available in certain markets and languages and requires registration because it uses Alexa API instead of some in-house solution. Overall, Hisense U8B has more than met our high expectations and is a very good purchase for anyone looking to step into a world of HDR with their new TV. Attractive design, high-quality panel, excellent factory calibration and color display, as well as the image quality we have not seen at this price, leave very little to be desired. At a price of about 700 euros for 55 inches and 1000 euros for 65 inch model, as well as extended warranty available on some markets, this TV is an undoubtable best buy. If I was to pick TV for myself for the holiday season, a 65 inch HDR for 1000 euros would be an easy choice. So what do you think about this TV? Share your thoughts with us in the comments, like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to visit our channel for more interesting reviews. See you next time.